Welcome back to Spore and Sprout. In this video, I'm going to show you how to grow mushrooms using liquid culture made from tree sap. Maple tree sap contains 1 to 2% sugar content, which is kind of low, but it works fine for propagating mushroom mycelium. Here I am just pouring 600 milliliters into a mason jar. Go make some liquid culture and grow some mushrooms. I drop in a magnetic stir bar and attach a modified lid to pressure sterilize at 15 psi for 20 to 30 minutes. After the jar of tree sap is done being sterilized, I take it out and let it cool down to room temperature. Now the jar is ready to be inoculated with spores, agar wedges, or liquid culture. I just went ahead and inoculated it with some Cordyceps militaris liquid culture. Make sure to wipe down the injection port with isopropyl alcohol before inoculating. After letting the jar sit in a room around 78 degrees Fahrenheit for one week, the mycelium is already starting to propagate. After another week, the mycelium has noticeably grown thicker. After one more week, the mycelium is now ready to be used and made into multiple syringes. Any extra mycelium that you don't use can be stored in the refrigerator for over 12 months. Here I'm using a sterile syringe to extract some liquid culture to grow some cordyceps. For most species, I use 2 milliliters, but for cordyceps, I use 10 milliliters. After about 20 days of colonizing at 78 degrees Fahrenheit, the rice cake is removed and placed inside of a filter patch bag. I use an impulse sealer to seal the bag. The bag is then placed under red and blue LED lights for 12 to 24 hours per day for 50 days. After 50 days, the cordyceps is ready to be harvested. And that's how you use maple tree sap to grow mushrooms. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe.